Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, Helene here along with... Jackie here, along with Sandwich. <laughs> and welcome back to, yeah, Hard Space Shipbreaker, and for once I'm not messing up the name. <laughs> and yeah, let's get into this. Again, with the oxygen join disabled, because we are more, I, we're more looking for story, and that's easier to do when we're not bound by a time limit of five to ten minutes every time. Yep, and um, are you sure? Hmm? Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic sure, uh... backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Yeah. Fine, it's quiet. Uh, what was I say? Are you sure you said it not tied right? Yeah. Our uh, spaceship breaker number eight. Let's see. Nobody's piping up. Okay. I feel like I'm so used to saying it wrong. Suddenly. <laughs> One message. All right, it's about that Demeter that we hadn't checked yet. Okay. Let's see, Demeter Paulson error, 2255 uh, to 2289. Demeter Paulson was an unrated... Uh, had we checked this one? No, this one is shorter. Uh, who, under her father, Exeter Paulson, worked as a senior advisor before inevitably inheriting the CEO position of Lynx Corp in 2238. Long tutored by her father, she had a vision for Lynx to be the foremost and de facto provider of many off-world industries, including salvage, transport, manufacturing, and accommodation. The long view to success, she cleverly offered link services at prices which competitors could not match. Once the position and reliance on links had been established, she returned prices to profit-making levels. I'm pretty sure there is a legal term for that, and it is very much not legal. Well, what term uh, is that? Yeah, I'm. I don't know, but yeah, it, it's basically basically they force their competition out, and for some reason, the recording. Through the webcam seems to be a bit off, a bit slow. Oh uh, well. Uh, but, but yeah, basically by undercutting the uh, opposition, they are driving them out of the market. And once they have a monopoly, yeah, you you know what happens in a monopoly. Yeah. Can't turn very bad. In a matter of years, Demeter had made Lynx not only the greatest name in uh, key off-world industries, but also the only name in some cases. Demeter's vision opened up opportunities for the, uh, for the mass of poor, uneducated and jobless folks across the colonies, giving them a chance at a better life. She then turned her acumen to bolstering the existing Lynx workforce. In 2383, Lynx acquired Jalna Bioworks, a company focused on technology that could preserve and regenerate the body and mind. With the goal to reduce worker overhead and turn around, this acquisition will eventually result in the vital Everwork asset replacement program that l protects Lynx employees every day, o aka the, the slave, um, the clone slave uh, program. So basically, the only thing that this bitch acquired was, yeah, uh, driving everyone else out of business. And yeah, just charging everyone just extortionate rates. Uh, okay. Let's just get started and get the sour taste out of her mouth. Yeah. Mm. Part of me could say an air spaceship come in and try to save the laborers against the. and support the unions. All right, Cutter. Time to extract your first class two reactor. This one's not quite as simple as just pull it and barge it, right? Pretty straightforward. Well, I'm sure head office would rather the reactor was in one piece. Pulling this beast without proper prep is a sure way to print yourself a receipt for a new spare. Sure, sure, prep. But you're on the clock, don't forget. <clears throat> As I was saying, like any reactor, it'll start melting down as soon as it's disconnected from its housing. And these class twos will melt down mighty quick unless you do two things first. 
First, release the connection to the thrusters. And second, remove the coolant from the ship's environmental control unit, or ECU. Or just cut a hole, pull it, and barge it. Uh, just make sure you clear an extraction route before doing anything, Cutter. As soon as you release the thrusters and mess with the ECU coolant, the reactor will enter a controlled meltdown. Oh, and if you're having trouble finding everything, try using the systems mode of your scanner. Yeah, these class 2 reactors you want to be careful with because they are quite finicky. You, like you said, if, you, if something happens with the thrusters or the coolant, it'll start uh, melting down. Though you can mess with the coolant somewhat. As long as you leave one uh, coolant tank inside, you'll, uh, it'll remain uh, stable. Let's see. Uh, all right, and that administrator is uh, in here. Yeah. Claims to have worked, but my guess is he has not worked a day in his life besides the thing that he is doing right now. And this is the coolant system. A bit surprised that it's apparently the only thing in here. Okay. And what is that noise? Put him in the bottle first. And I should have checked for the atmosphere in there. At least nothing's exploding. Okay. We can pull that off. And okay. Usually there are three of these in here. We should be able to just pull out two of them and leave the last one in. But for now, let's just continue with this thing. Yeah. It's a lot more shielded, and it's at least twice as big. So, yeah, yeah we'll want to work on this. Is there a message with your visor? Yep. So, let's just carefully pluck this thing. The side panels can be safely removed. There we go. And, well, this is just free-floating on its own now. Okay. Well, might as well get to work. Why did I... Why did the game slow down there for a moment? For a moment I thought that somehow it stuffed a freaking reactor. Okay. Yeah, oh, for a moment, you want to blow us up. I'll fully admit that I flinched. I admit, I also flinched. Okay. Now, it has been quite a bit since I have worked one of these. But, and it has been, uh, the game has been updated since. And I'm, I'm taking glances to OBS on the site to see if there are any more just bits of lag. There's some with my, the webcam footage being run through NVIDIA broadcast, but nothing too bad, I think, or I'd say, from what I can see. Okay. No. Let's continue pulling all of this off. Once we have an opening in this uh, side, we'll get to work on the reactor itself. Because, like I said, it has been updated, so things might have been changed somewhat. And... Hmm. But Weaver said that if the fuel or the coolant is messed with that the, the reactor can go critical and probably not be have all the cursor that close to it I, kn I know like I said you can remove most of the coolant and still be safe and I'm not sure about the fuel because there is 
a button here to purge the fuel from the system. I'm not sure if that doing that will start uh, will start the countdown or not. So once yeah, once we have an opening that we can safely move it through, we'll flick that and see if well <laughs> things start going beep beep beep. You know what they should have done with these uh, reactors? Mm, what? Install a on and off switch. Yeah, they should have, but that probably would have cost them what, like, 10 extra cents. <laughs> okay. We should be good for the most part now. And, okay, I technically wouldn't have needed to pull, to cut those loose. Actually, they'll, they don't want that in the bars. So, yeah, a bit of time wasted on freeing that, but oh well. I think I'm noticing some uh, bits of stuttering on the footage. Could be because the game is now being run in windowed mode, so I can use that, uh, that on-screen chat program. Possibly. Hmm. Might have to look a bit around more. It, it it does make it easier to see chat, but it's not required. So if it would start interfering Salvage with uh, the smoothness of the stream, then I'd be willing to just remove it and go the, the old-fashioned way. Now, let's see. This thing in its entirety. Or is this another case of it being hooked around somewhere? Hmm. Maybe it'll be safer to just pull the back end off. Hmm. We can move this. Come on. Let's nudge it around. And off you go. There, big ass opening. And let's see. Yep, we can always remove this. And just have to pull it down some. And then we... No, not up. Why did it go... It's trying to get towards me. Um, it's a good thing that the thruster isn't actually held in the back end here. Otherwise, it would have been disconnected now, probably. Okay, just send you against the back wall. And that should leave things safe enough for us to pull this part out, get the fuel out of the system, and remove the reactor. I think I saw a bit of spark yeah, in there. Do, uh, do we fit on Tedros first? Yeah. Because we kind of need those to move things away safely. And it's back. Oh, ye of little fate. <laughs> Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your Tethers restored. Oh, okay, we're... We're not losing fuel, because this technically counts as a training mission as well. A very, a, a very profitable <laughs> training mission. Okay. Let's just pull you from there to there, and that should leave things untouched. Or at least the important bits. There we go. Wait, don't be the one you send for the back. Yeah, I'll get to that later. It 
basically this thing is just peanuts compared to the price that this thing should be bringing in. I think they are like 2 million each. Or at least they were. Yeah, yeah that, that, that'll look help. That's also why they are so dangerous. That they have two subsystems systems that you need to take and be careful of. Okay. Our light got destroyed and it's not going critical. So yes, we can just turn off the fuel. And be safe with that. Okay. Now we should just be able to pull it straight out. Might as well get this out of the way. Okay. Just lift it up, pull it out. Nice job, Cutter. Bought yourself some extra time with the reactor there. Yep. Now don't forget that getting both the thrusters and the ECU will trigger a controlled meltdown. Okay, now, both. Send it to the barge stack. And don't get yourself injured. Well, I'll be. Well, well done, Cutter. Work on improving the time to impress. All right. We're done with training. We'll leave you beat now. Great work today, Cutter. Weaver out. Okay, I saw the price pop up, but I didn't see just how many zeros that was. I think it was six, so three million. Okay. Now we we can't just continue with this thing, but once you have typically once you have the class two reactor, you've got the most valuable thing in the entire ship done. So technically you could just rush for the reactor, get that. Hey Cutter, you wanna see something special? Take a look at that rail gate. Yeah, which is the gate? That thing? That thing, yes. Oh! That can't be too good for everyone working around it. Wow. What a beauty. <laughs> you know, no matter how many times I see that rail gate fire, it never ceases to amaze me. Could be you one day. I'm really unsure now if he is the one who talked to corporate or not, because he seems to be trying to hint us to get the hell out and all. Yeah, they're also... Do you remember a few episodes back? Maybe I thought there saw a weird flash of light in the window? Yeah, that could have been the thing firing, maybe. Though I'm not sure if that was on at the gate or behind it somewhere. Yeah, for a bomber, and what for the we saw just a path on the other of the planet. But it could not, yeah, it was just maybe it was uh, the rail gun, uh, rail gun, sorry. Well, technically speaking, it is just a giant rail gun. <laughs> just when that sh sends you uh, all up to the other side of the uh, solar system instead. <laughs> Okay. Still, it, it's nice that the the reactors on these are so freaking compact. Like, I, we could literally ignore the entire front half of the ship and just go for these. And <laughs> these... We can just get out. Let's see. Can also be used to extinguish fire. Yeah, we don't want things to go... Yeah, into fire, and there we go. Once the final one is is pulled free, then the thing sh uh, shuts down, and then it would become a problem. Now, though, we can also back this thing, but we'll have to cut out the floor for it because it's just way too freaking big, and also it has the connecting piece here. Go. 
Damn boom. Coolant goes less boom and more. Uh, how would you even make freezing noises? Yeah. Also, oh. okay. That was the that was the cutter overheating. And no, that's no, that still didn't. Screaming. That still didn't cut out the freaking panel. Okay. Wait, it's actually Why did that make that damaged. Uh, yeah, an easy way to just get these things out is to use the the stinger point to just completely destroy the floor. Because, yeah, like we've said multiple times now, sc scrap is just a lot less valuable than most bar edge items, and especially so for the later, yeah, for the later items. Okay. Off with you. Okay. If we at any point had breached these pipes here, and uh, echo there, material uh, deposited. If we breached either of the pipes, then it would have sent the th the reactor into yeah meltdown as well. And of course, with coolant, if we breach if we had breached those pipes when there was still coolant in them. In which it isn't now because the lights are off. It would have started freezing everything around it, of course. Oh dear. Object accepted for processing. Processor, processor, processor. Okay. It, it reminds me of something. Uh, it reminds me of fire and ice. It reminds me of something that they're uh, adding to Ark or one of the new dinosaurs. No. Apparently, a person from Amargosaurus is able to launch its next fights like, as missiles. Okay. And they can be ice spikes or fire spikes. Alright. So, yeah, they have a long neck dinosaur to shoot spikes from its neck. Like a missile pod. Yeah, definitely an interesting choice. Yes. Yeah, and they balance it too already. Like, you can you can shoot up all, all, all of them, but probably it's, it would take time for the spikes to regrow. Yeah. So it won't be. It is dangerous. But it ain't overpowered, as you need to remember. Uh, limit, very limited ammo. Yeah. Okay. So that one. Is how you tame it. You suppose to tame it, you need to walk along with it and defend it on all the dinosaurs. Okay. Uh, let's keep working on this thing until we hit milestone two, and then we'll uh, call it. Because, like I said, we got the most valuable parts. And here, we wanted the, all the. Okay, there was one. Uh, let's see. What do you want to, uh, up to number three? Uh, let's see. Then we get a repair kit and 11 Lynx tokens. Like, we need those tokens to upgrade our stuff and buy new uh, features. I don't exactly know how many we have at the moment. Uh, oh, we have plenty. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Now, this thing, it's another heavy one, so it doesn't move as fast. Uh, that's what we have the tethers for. Now, let's see, how much is that worth? Not that. Not that. Okay. Quarter of a million, so definitely worth getting those. Holy! <laughs> yeah, once you get to class two, you really start bringing in the box. Or class two with reactors. And I think these were quite pricey as well. 
looks so weird to have a shipping crate outside the damn ship. Yeah. But sure, I, I mean, it makes sense on very big cargo ship on water, right? Even though I think that has been... They might go away or something, due to there's been a lot of problems with them. But doing yeah, that I... on a fish... Uh, uh, sorry? Yeah, I find it doubtful that cargo ships will be going anywhere soon because... Yeah, yeah they, they're, yeah. they're at, mo at the moment, they're the most efficient way of moving yeah. stuff around. Yeah, I think they are maybe do some remodeling so they don't have all the crates on top of the boat. Yeah, because we've all seen some videos of, well, ships losing their shit like that. Yeah, so just that manner of transport may change and go that, away. A that bit makes more a lot more sense. Yeah. And seeing the new down to spaceships here, it, it broke my mind. Like, why put a cargo out of the ship that can break off by a meteor? Because it's cheaper than sticking it on the inside. Uh. Hmm. Since we'll be skipping a good part of this thing, I, part of me is just tempted to... Uh, Okay. Let's take another look inside here. We didn't look everywhere, and so there might still be some parts floating around. And we need some fuses. Okay. Okay, now we're back to health and fuel being active. Okay. Gimme. Those don't look new. Let's see. Anti Air pressure level. That. Mm. Not sure if we have these, but we might as well grab them. I think they were worth a decent amount. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Nothing. Oh. Thank you. Okay, let's just crack this thing open. Got a bit more than wanted, but no, not that. Yeah, nothing that would come loose. Okay. You let go. How much do we actually give for these? 18,000. Okay, decent amount. Now, let's see. I could extract wiring from you. Yeah, uh, let's... I should maybe make a little list of what uh, is worth what, so we know what would be the uh, safer stuff to break up. And that's a free fuse. Oh god. He's so now nice. we might smell. Actually, from the ad I saw the other day. What then? Do yeah. you remember all those uh, Coca Cola Christmas commercials with Santa Rice and drinks for Cola? Uh, no. No, really? They've been going on with that since I was a kid. Oh, this, yeah, I, I misheard you a bit. Sand, uh, 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 Santa with cola, yeah? There was a new ad. There was a bit security at cameras. And this spot Santa drinking Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> yes, Pepsi. Uh, that, that, the war between... Uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi is just never going to get boring, is it? Until one buys up the know. other. I've really noticed the war. Honestly, though, I've, it has been a good-ass long time since I rank either of them. Uh, Same. Co cola uh, in part. Yeah, uh, cola in oh. part because the caffeine in it gives me a headache. 
uh, if I drink too much can, of it. I may say that you drink, eat uh, boba with less sugar and such. Yeah, drink of cola, you just eat too much. Like too much boba, too much sugar, and you just start to feel disliking it, feel it. I don't know that drinking was when I went with my grandparents. It took me several times to tell them that I don't really like Coca-Cola much anymore due to it's just too much sugar. Probably took them 30 times before they stopped uh, buying it. If they even stopped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, all, you're the old family. You can't really live without them, but you can't always live with them. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Damage. Okay, maybe not pull out the wiring uh, when it's still attached to others. And for, now we're on the freaking classical channel. What the heck? No tethers remaining. What the fuck? Well, that's what you said. You can't live without them. You almost kill yourself. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at Yeah, the yeah, shut down. up. We're heading out anyways. Deposit accepted. Tethers, fuel. And yeah, we've hit mark two, so... And we've already pulled out the best bits. So we can go... Five million. From just that. Let's see. Antenna, panels... Half a million for the thruster alone, almost. And yet, yeah, three million from the reactor. So basically, if you can get these things out in a single shift, you're done. Yeah, the rest of the ship is not worth it. Okay. Anyone else? Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%. So think of what it takes to hit 110% and aim for that. AKA not freaking worth it. Okay, another message. Unverified, oh, that's the, that's this again. They, they're a bit ballsy to send this when there's someone looking around and even more ballsy to just have it plain a being about them. The deployment of administrators is a worrying development, as are the comments made by company leadership about our efforts. We want our members to know we will not be dissuaded. It is unclear how much authority administrators have. We're getting word that they can change rules, procedures, and work certifications as they see fit, which is a major concern for the safety and rights of shipbreakers. Links has provided no clarity or transparency with these administrators and where their jurisdiction ends. As far as... Uh, so far, they have been inconsistent in how they operate. We'll share more information as we get it. Please reach out to us with your experiences and complaints. Stay safe. Hmm. Yeah, they better hope that whatever they're using to send all that information around is secure. Because otherwise, they are basically signing their own death warrants. <laughs> because I very much doubt that uh, those... Yeah, jackasses would not be allowed to just plainly kill their employees and have them re be replaced with a new spare, likely with a, a little thing added it out. Now let's see. Okay. A little check on? Okay. okay, these are only with class ones, so that's a bit annoying to be back to that. But, uh, yeah, we, we can't... Hmm. We'll probably get more consistent access to class 2s in this grade. So we'll just have to get another level. Let's see. Last owner, Hanzo. Okay. <laughs> the Overwatch character has been surviving for quite a while longer than expected then. The Calamity 14. The Godard. We've already had a Godard, I think. Saturn Mark 9. And the little seconds eight. Okay. Um, At least the macros is quite quick to do. Yeah. And not much difference. One has a higher coolant 
It's red. And it is about a half a million worth more. And I'm guessing that was the sounds of them getting rid of the rack of the other one. Okay, let's see. Some frontal nacelles. We've got an atmosphere inside from the danger that popped up. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we have enough dampeners at the moment, so we don't need to destroy those. Okay. Now, what has Space FedEx been up to with this thing then? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. And where is the entrance? For some there reason, the this ship makes me think of the Tau. Yeah, it's boxy like their stuff is. Not okay, all of the color, one. but I guess it's a bit box as well. Airlock pressure level. And we can already have see interference, but that might as might be damage as well. Okay. First grab loot and oh that's why the bigger <laughs> the bigger coolant danger. Uh, I think this is the first time that we've run into one of these, but you can you can figure it out. Uh, red explodey barrel, blue explodey barrel. <laughs> oh. Okay, something smacked us and a crate got destroyed there. Okay, well, at least all the all the loot is in here now. Thruster damage as well. Uh, well, yeah, I should have I should have checked the atmosphere in here. Maybe good idea to hurry over and repair everything. Uh, the suit is still intact, mostly. There, there is a crack, yeah, and it of course is worrying on its own. But we're not in a danger yet with it. No, no, no. I've been seeing several warning signs from several of functions. That was that was about materials getting damaged, not uh, becoming critically damaged. Okay. Now at least we we got rid of the atmosphere in here, though they're still in the sides, so that may be a bit of an issue. Okay, we'll have to create a decompress uh, compression in one of the sides, or probably both of them. But uh, since we're out of atmosphere in here, let's just get to the main prize. And be done with that as quick as possible. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm making sure not to cut that thing. <laughs> I'm not going to set up a small nuke in my own face. Give it a shove. You said I had a little faith in you, and you've been growing so far, you can keep me that way. Right there. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. And that goes there. And then we just pluck it like an apple. But. Okay. The heck? I was saying. Well, we now at least have. <laughs> at least we got to show off what happens when those things does go boom. Like, what happened there? Did it hit something? Yeah, it did. Very painfully, oh, you see, hit the floor. Yeah, I think I sent it straight down, but my calculation might have been off there. Well, has been off there. Yeah, I saw uh, it bump and bo go boom. Well, at least the, the, it took care of the atmosphere and what remained of the ship. <laughs> and somehow this didn't get blown up. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just salvage what we can. Well, we can. Just a slightly second hand coolant. Uh, 
And yeah, you can see what it does with stuff. Electricity shooted through two three times. Not sure actually. Something else burnt up. And also today. No, we haven't got the frozen yet. But what day is it? Yeah, it's not Friday the 13th, so it can't be that. It's just processing. Great. Okay, so even when sharded, it's for processing. How is this still attached? Okay, it seems the explosion was a little bit spe specific with what it blew up. Uh, yeah, guessing. Yeah, I'm thinking it's pretty clear where the uh, <laughs> the detonation site was. Uh, again, at least we got to show off what happens when those do go off. <laughs> it's quite the fireworks, no? Yeah. Oh, and you also a home your suit with the air pressure. Oh, well. Watch the Kool-Aid. The uh, Kool-Aid, I mean Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid. I think Kool-Aid is supposed to be red as well. Okay. Uh, no. Better. Okay. okay, why didn't this one get damaged? Or did I bump the other one somehow? Yeah, sometimes things just seem to randomly get damaged or not. And let's see. But the first one was showing sign of damage due to it was closest to the bomb. Well if if it gotten hit by it, it would have it would have gone off as well. But yeah you can see how things can chain react if things start blowing up like that. Okay. Let's just salvage what we can, quite literally in this case. And yeah, once we hit mark one, <laughs> actually, let's see if we can re still reach mark the second level. That we'll probably have to, we'll probably have to sweep together a lot of the hull. Yeah, I, it might seem that I'm being reckless with those cuts, but as long as the red dots aren't on the item, it won't get cut. Unless you are like really close to it, sometimes that causes it to malfunction. And where maybe the heat causes it to, to set off or something. Either way, just let that shove the rest through. Okay, maybe with some luck we might even unlock the uh, the next class of ship as well. Credit deposited. Credit deposited. you be more careful next time. Yeah, note to self. Uh, Keep, them, uh, keep your eyes on the freaking prize when dealing with the reactor. It, I, I was pretty sure it should it should have hit, but okay, maybe maybe it drifted more to the side. I meant for the entire thing, not just that. I'm guessing it drifted more off to the side than I thought. Oh, hello. You? Okay. Actually, what level? We are at level ten. 
So on the next level, we should get access to the demo charges, which will be a, a bunch of fun on their own as well. Oh, dear. Okay. With these cuts, it should only hit the glass. And yeah, con control will complain at us if it uh, does cut through. No, it did not. Okay. There we go. We still have plenty that we can pluck from this thing. Actually work better than just plucking them out the uh, the other end. Okay, that one's destroyed. Coming out. Or I think it might be too wide to fit through. Actually, can we cut the sides of these? Yes, we can. Okay. So that's also maybe something to try at some point, to just cut the wall open. It's a bit low. Oh, no, it, it's, it's two, it's two, yeah, two separate panels, so we need to aim in between to cut both at once. Come on, huh? How are you still... How is that still attached? I cut it twice. Wait. Oh, is it attached to the... What are you... Oh. No. Oh. oh. The panel is... The terminal is holding two halves together. I think that's what happened there. Yep, it was. Okay. Yeah. Another case of this weird space glue or whatever they're using. Okay. I still saw something in here. Yep, there. Heat sink. Oh, and some extra wiring as well. Yeah, I think after this, we'll just call it on this one. <laughs> we'll just call it a mulligan. And move on to the next ship. Okay. Anything else of specific value to be plucked out that isn't just all of the hull? Actually, there's still a thruster. Or did that survive? I'm guessing it didn't. Nope. <laughs> oh dear. And some final bits of crate, and then we'll just launch all of this into the processor. One more. Okay. And off with you. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Warning. Should... Tethers depleted. Okay, it is slowly but surely moving. There, that'll speed it up. And that's too heavy to shove, even. Okay. Oh, hey. uh, yeah, like I said, at the very least, that showed off what happens when a reactor does go off. And that was just a small one. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Have a nice day. Okay. 
We have yeah, enough reach. A floating uh, crate uh, over there. Yeah, there was one that was destroyed. So it could be that one, but let's still take a look. Oh, wait, this, the thruster's still intact. Uh, break those off, break those off. Okay, that's going in on its own already. Oh, but, oh, beat it. The stupid thing is still here. Uh, oh. Let's just eject it out of its fuel. And uh, here you look at the red. Oh, well, you can still get a, a few more credits out of this, at least. <laughs> oh, it's damaged, but we can still... They still want it. <laughs> Okay, uh, getting a bit closer to the processor than I'm comfortable with. And yeah, that one's destroyed. In you go. And yeah, mostly just bits and pieces. <laughs> oh well. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Someone's having a rough day. New uh, has been not rough enough to not get another level. A fellow. Just what? Okay. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call. Still a profit. Listen uh, up, guys. I got something you'll all like. No, oh, you not. Are you leaving already? Uh, um, I went ahead and got you all clearance to use something that'll make you 10 times more efficient. Easy. 20 times. You ready? Demolition charges. Spark free. These will cut through damn near anything. Wait, wait, wait. Spark free demo charges? That sounds pretty cool, Mr. Rhodes. Thank you. Uh uh. No way. Not a chance. Damn things aren't new. Hell, I've been vaporized by those stupid things plenty of times. Spark free. <sighs> things spark so much you could put one on a birthday cake. Curds on! That's it! Come on now, Hal. I'm revoking your privileges for external communications. You... what? Yeah. Yeah. No comms outside the station network. No more calls to Mars. All of you need to understand something. I represent the company. And you show me respect. Got it? How lets you and I sit down and talk about this. That's all for now. Let's get to work. Jackass. Wait, may, may, may I punch him? Yeah, yes. Good, I get him axe. Spark free demolition charges. Okay, maybe these things will just blow up in our faces. Uh, we've finally done it. After enthusiastic lobbying and negotiations, the Jovian Safety Commission has given us the go-ahead on Lynx brand explosives. Those cutters who are keen to work on their explosives ticket can now require the, de the demolition charge license from the equipment menu of their HAB interface. Instructions are uh, available in all, in all languages except Esperanto. Happy cutting. Why Esperanto? Is that Spanish? Sounds okay. Spanish, but I might be wrong. And now we're at current links with the propaganda. In 2289, Demeter Paulson stepped down and gave the helm of Lynx Corporation to her granddaughter, Megan Ray Paulson. In Megan's short tenure, she has already streamlined Lynx processes and efficiencies and created increased profits by an astounding 27%. Fulfilling her grandmother's original vision after acquiring Jana Bioworks, Megan Ray Paulson oversaw the development and introduction of the revolutionary Everwork Asset Replacement Program. 
Not only did this protect the many hard-working employees of Lynx, it uh, also immediately reduced recruitment and training costs by 80% and completely eliminated to the need for on-site medical services. The story of Lynx Corporation and its unparalleled growth and success is a testament to the incredible uh, business uh, savvy to be found in Paul's and Jeans. The uh, legacy continues today. The children of CEO Megan uh, Ray Paulson and her partner Isfrit Mirai, Sharon Harsh and Kalisa are successfully leading Lynx Corp's uh, research, transport and service divisions respectively. Lynx is unequivocally the most powerful company and dynasty in human history. Yeah, bullshit. With humble origins as a simple mom and pop operation that got bought out by the bigger thing and just took on the name of it, or the origin of it, the Paulson family has broken technological and business barriers at every step, paving the way for innovation and opportunity unlike anything else in the world. Yeah, just complete another bullshit. Okay. Let's see. What the heck was that? Just environmental noises. For now, let's repair some of our stuff. Yeah, cool. I don't know what this game needs. Space Vikings. Okay, we need we need two thousand points to get those. Okay, so we'll still be quite a ways off from getting those. Anything else that we've gotten access to? More range, tether lifetime. Thrusters, just more speed, more fuel, and durability drain. And the scanner has nothing really new either. Okay, so let's save up. And yeah, let's save up for the demo charges then. And get to work. Oh dear. Ship catalog. We've got another science macro. Hmm. Okay, why? Oh, we need to reach level 12 for these. Okay, then they've given the reactor 2 training a bit early then. Let's see. Hmm. Five, six. Let's go for this one. Because. It is, it's smaller than a javelin, but it's almost as valuable as one. Okay. No chatter this time? Okay. And yeah, plenty of accessories on the sides of this one. Now, let's see. Fuses, power junctions, and breakers. And we also, we have all of that as well. So we can immediately start off with these two. We found a few to the ship here. Hmm? Uh, is it? Uh, I saw the list on your menu thing that said we are missing one fuse. Am I read right? Uh, yeah, we need one more fuse. We can we can pull that out of the power box of this ship. Okay. Those, the grill has had has been in our way often enough now whilst trying to pull off the sides, so not this time. Let's see, what would you give? Circuity boards. Not real needed now. So, easy enough to send down. Those are going to be needed to cut free from the inside, I'm guessing. Solar sails, yeah. Though that will also mean that there shouldn't be any f fuel hazards inside. Accepted. Come back here, you. Let's go down then. Okay. Technically speaking, we could also probably get into a ship through the uh, through the back Salvage by using by, 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 yeah, by pulling off the thruster cap. But we'd have no way of uh, removing the atmosphere inside that way, or at least not safely. See? Things are quite heavy for how easily they pop off. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit okay. transferred. 
Everything is pressurized. Okay. Let's see then. There's atmosphere in the side of this ship, but there it's almost always required to uh, yeah, cause a controlled decompression. Let's see. Nope. Oh, credit drive. That's new. <laughs> I'll just uh, slip that into my space pocket. Circuit boards, distributor, and even more goodies. You mean? Oh dear. Okay. Is that about it? Oh. Are you still. You are not functional. That is going to make things a bit of an issue. Okay. Is the one in here still functional? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is something that might happen in that, yeah, uh, some equipment inside of a ship might be broken. And did that, that did not close the door. Okay, so that's not a problem after all. It'll still need to work on the size of the ship, though, since those are still pressurized. Okay. There she is. Simple enough. Okay. And, of course, this thing is going to be littered with cabling all over the place. At least you can pick up the cables. Yeah. Hmm. Once we get them loose, at least, uh, shouldn't you be... There we go. Oh, oh wait. Okay, I missed this one. Okay, that explains why there was a bit more weight to it. And the rest of that uh -oh. goes to the processor. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Okay. Let's spare the solar sails. And this time, I'm going to keep a full eye on this thing. Okay. Processing valuable objects. Credit award. And there we go. Like a s slow rocket, it takes off. Yeah, the only thing you want to burn is a bag of chips. We pull out our extra crispy. Okay, we still haven't seen a thruster blow up from being, well, emptied of its fuel, but there is still a... Oh, there should still be a small chance for that to happen every time. There's quite a few oh. of these power junctions here. This one's new. Hydroponics cabinets. Yeah, don't don't blow it up in the name of science. And what is that? This, or you mean this? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that the round one. Well, uh, you, you can see inside of it. Uh, I think you're round. Hmm? Round. Yeah, that's Behind just you. Part of a communication system. Oh, I thought something else. Yeah, it makes me think of a damn torpedo launcher. Okay. Now, why is that? Why is it wanting to go for the entire wall? If we do that, it's going to blow that thing into our face. Okay. We can spare a little bits of the floor. Because if we can cut it, then most likely it is not yeah, worth less than the other stuff. Okay. 
I almost forgot about those. Down. Um, yeah, let's let's depressurize this thing before it blows up at some other point in time. Fuel levels are low. Yes, yes. Still enough fuel to hang around a bit more. Okay. Electrical hazard. for the barge. Oop, that <laughs> went a bit faster than I expected. Okay. And now we could just be another fly on the wall and just block things out. Not touching those yet. Still a, a bit unsure on how to deal with the electrical systems at times. Because I'm not sure if you should remove the power cells or the power junctions first. We've had it a few times when we pull out an energy cell or power cell, whichever it may be, that it damages itself and starts sparking. So first we remove all of this. Yeah, I might need to look up on the wiki a bit for that. Which would be smarter to do. We just put a scratch in the communication system. Oh dear. Yeah, one part has the tools you want. And it should be these. And yeah, I'm not I'm not touching those with that until after I'm sure that it's not going to electrocute me instantly. Yeah, you've been having quite a lot of bad luck already. Nope, oh, there's a pickup that we missed. Can hear you. Have I been angling those things correctly? I've been hearing uh, the notifications of things getting caught by it, but not I haven't been keeping count if it was all of them. No have I. Okay. I am at the moment trying to keep my eye on two of you going to run presently. Okay, well it gave up a good shock and damaged itself a lot. But at least we got ourselves our fuse. So, yeah, best to pull out the power cells, then the power junctions. And... Okay. the wall with that. What? What? What blew up there? There shouldn't have been anything. Oh, power cells probably. Well, that's destroyed a few. And there goes the coolant. <laughs> Again, uh, careful where you aim that cutter. 
The golden speed boulders fall the fray of memories, Ilion. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, that was accidental as well. <laughs> a bit more amusing, I think. Okay, yeah, because we could still save this thing. Okay, come here. Nope, not going to launch it again. Come on. Just trying to get the freaking fuse. Okay, at least the solar sails are still intact. Yeah, they're not fused. Yeah, but we prob we'll probably need more of them later on. Ah. Okay, you are sparking, so you are gone. Next. Yeah, that wouldn't be the last case anyways. Ready to single... Okay. Go. Okay. Now that's been destroyed. We can still reach the the third uh, goal. Let's see. I th I th okay, we should already have enough points for the next level. So uh, yeah, let's just pluck out whatever is, is valuable. Oh, oh. Okay, there's not going to be much more that is that valuable. Uh, we can at least pull the table out because that's always valuable still. Oh, it's, it's hooked through it. Don't cut the table in half. Okay, we'll, we'll grab the sails and then we'll probably call it. Because honestly, there isn't... Pardon? It isn't okay. absolutely necessary to collect every as much as possible from a ship. Of course, it is... Reaching the higher goals does give more... It does give more tokens and such. But it's not absolutely required to make to keep making progress. Yeah, and, no. yeah, yeah. All of that is uh, a no-go zone now. Yeah, you, you have made it extremely hard with yourself. Come on down. What is holding you in place? Yeah, and it just froze. And now it... Okay, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Oh, you are still good. Okay. There we go. Now then, to start plucking out all of the hazards. There's something else freezing and getting destroyed, I think. They aren't causing the sparking, but they are getting affected by it. So what is the origin of this hazard? We're still limiting its effect, though. And you can only get the line. Uh, like I said, it's not absolutely needed. That has only gotten worse, it seems. Uh, of course, it's all of the cabling that's sparking. <laughs> It's a light, it's a nice light show at the least. Okay, yeah, all of the cabling is destroying itself. And let's just pluck you out. You saw how it arrived. And then it breaks the moment I pluck. Come on. Uh, 
Evet. Evet. Can I wet myself through somewhere? Or we just cut the cockpit loose. You are causing the sparking. Uh, oh, out of fuel. That explains that, but we already know how we can fix that. And it should also just be possible, uh, which is... There we go. Fire in the Dutch, spider the Dutch, whatever spider the Dutch cast. Yep. Warning, no tethers remain. Well, another reason we <laughs> want to go here now. Okay, to fuel tethers, and Thank done with that. Okay, back at it. Okay, all of the all of the cabling is just self-destructing at this point. And that's the cockpit free now. So let's tuck that uh, forward some. Because there might still be some useful stuff around. I have to say, this episode is having a full of accidents. <laughs> yeah. That's still a good profit on most of these. Not the best profit, but still. Hmm. Also, I'm not sure if I've told it, but you can grab on like this with the Z and X buttons. Alright. Just so in case I hadn't told that before. Yeah, it just looks like you're high fiving the ship. <laughs> nope. Okay. Oops. I almost cut straight through that. But yeah, I do gotta say that uh, accidents like these do keep things a bit more interesting than just perfectly plucking these things apart every time. There's less electricity bouncing around now, but so that is a plus. And, and because we don't have time to deal with all of the freaking cables, let's carve it all in two. all of this sparking it's from you it seems like it because the moment we plucked that out it sparked less it's still sparking but it's sparking less okay should be safe to get in and be careful with the cut here Why is it... it... Okay, that was a bit too close. Note that excess electrical damage has been found to negatively impact long-term job satisfaction. Okay, oh, still good on suit and health. And that came oh. a jump scare. <laughs> and that also seems to have discharged whatever power was left in these cables. <laughs> so... Enough of the polka oh, channel. Electro. No. Okay. Oop. Stall its movement a bit. 
again, why is it so eager to just cut through everything here? I know that these mounts are a bit more are more fragile. Do there. And the rest that way. Now how much is that going to add to the self rate? Okay, decent amount. Not an amazing amount, but still good. Okay. But there is four of them, so... Yeah. Okay. Should be a very good amount. We also still have the airlock. Kind of surprised that hasn't blown up. Well, airlocks don't really blow up, they blow out. Careful. Okay. Then we curve up the cabling. Oh, you should be. Yep, they're still up top. Okay, get some distance, get some length on the cables. There we go. I said there we go. Okay, what? Yeah, yeah, okay, it is loose. Given. That. That. Avoid the cell, yep. Nice little precision cut. That should deal with most of the cabling on the other side. Another cell to salvage. No. Oh, uh, I, sorry for missing you in the chat there, Borrelius. Uh, does do it just <laughs> with some lightning. Uh, yeah, it is just some lightning, but it's freaking lightning in space. Okay. Yeah, you, you might have missed us blowing up a reactor by accident earlier. I'm myself into the blowing up a reactor. There we go. Hmm. And that's the second goal. Okay, then we'll just grab the, the sails. And uh, well, then we'll just sail back to the hab. Oh, dear. Still something sparking to my left. Don't get struck again. I think that, I think that you still have, have enough shots that you may permanently damage your brain. Caution. Tether supplies running low. I think it's a bit late for that. Uh, what did I just hit? Yeah, I don't think I can move the entire freaking place. You can also move. Um, I get the feeling that Thruster might not have survived this. I, I can't actually see. No, there's, there's no... There's no thruster, but there's no explosion hole either. 
And again, this ship uses solar sails, so it technically wouldn't need a thruster. Okay, so last bits. <laughs> uh, not what I meant to do with that, but okay. It's, you know, this way is closer anyways. If this is even enough force to push it, it is not. Oh well. More headers. I hope they expect you to smash your old face to the hair again. Yeah, I might upgrade the... I might upgrade the brakes at some point, just to be extra sure. Might be a good idea. And I start to feel like this is the episode that someone can make a compilation of you making mistakes. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> it would just make it easier to find the laughs. <laughs> Okay, the rest of that, that way. We've got our second goal already and we're not getting a third one. So everything else extra in cash is, well, extra. The Arcadian Venus Carrier. That's its name? Hmm? The what? The, the ship's name. The Arcadian Venus Carrier. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, these names are randomly generated. Okay, just pull the stupid thing in. There's quite a lot of weight on it, but still. It's like seeing the Titanic going. What? <laughs> if the Titanic was a lot sparkier. Oh. Uh... That's my expensive seat. And apparently a power box was still in there. Which explains why everything was sparking. Okay. Uh, how's the footage looking actually, Aurelius? I've, I've noticed some stuttering on my, from what I've been glancing on OBS on my end. Not a lot, but still enough to catch my attention every now and then. Okay. The rest is only just bits and bobs lying around, so out we go. There's still a, bu still a bunch of mastery points from that. Hmm. There will need another 16,000 for the next. Hello? Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. I think this might be the end of Act 2. Oh, we could just plain ignore it. <laughs> Probably best not. Hey, hey folks, this is the private channel. Didi, are you alright? No, I'm not. Taking away my comm privileges? Family's probably worried as hell about me now. I'm working on that, Didi. I'll get your comms back. I is he actually allowed to do that he is didn't think he would but he is does he outrank you it's it's complicated lou yeah so yes still think he'll be gone in a week dd if he isn't i'm gonna float over there and kick him straight out of the airlock <laughs> nice if i got my hands on him i would all right hold up now Let's not get all fire and brimstone. We can still sort this out. Now, why don't we all just call it a day and get some shut eye? And we'll hit this up tomorrow, all right? Weave her out. Thank you. Oh, hello, Rom. Hello, Rom. How's it going? I do have you yeah. as a friend on Steam, right, Drek here? Good morning, shipbreaker. What? 
Any extra what? sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Uh, uh, we, we can check that after the stream. For now, though, things have been generally well, but uh, we've blown a few things up. Why do you keep saying we and you, the one blowing everything up, including the nuke? And because, uh, um, because unfortunately for us, we're his conscience. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and it's and it's more fun to see you react. <laughs> okay, two and a half million from five mackerels. That's a pricey fish. Let's see, nothing new, and no squeak from Bunny Character D this time. Okay, I'm. I'm I am just going to assume that whatever that flash was that we saw once might have been something to do with the gate. Because we saw that thing firing. And, uh, yeah, it was something. Like, it is like a freaking mass relay. And the gear. Let's see, how's our gear? Let's repair that. Still got a few left. Pardon? Hmm. Let's see. Granted. Shouldn't be anything here. else here. We, we could get the brakes, but we'd have to up our speed as well with that. And we are saving up for the demo charges. Okay. Hello. I'm back. Mom, come for a thing. Come back. Okay. Uh, let's see. I was going to ask things. about AVP 2010 because I remembered you had a Hillian. Uh, prob I think I do, yeah. I, might. I, I think I've played through a part of this uh, campaign but never finished it because I got bored with it, I think. I was bored and thinking maybe we could run one multiplayer stream since I don't know. Drakir, do you own that game? I don't. I am horrible at cross shooting games. The only one I seem to be good at is uh, Deep Room Galactic. Hmm. Okay, we can well, try I... streaming that sometime. We're, we're yep. probably at one of the latter streams that we'll be having with Shipbreaker for a while. Well, I think we are near the end, or if not at the end, of the second act, or at least what is easily reachable, because I'm not really interested in just having ten more streams of this, uh, just, uh, scavenge, yes, just hunting for all of the salvage that we need for our little escape vessel. Okay, yeah, so, th so that's how that thing sounds in an atmosphere. Uh, I think I okay, just launched it out the window. Do it again, do it again! <laughs> Why does everyone want to jump scare me? Wait. Raw? Yes. How tall are you? What? How tall are you? I'm about six something. Why? I refuse to think you're six meters tall. Okay, fine. I'm five nine. Can Ooh, you accept that? Problem. I'm not sure. I'm not most of feet uh, thingy, but I think I'm taller than you. Then. Your pressure level decreases. We are about the same height. Okay, that's better. If I stand up really straight, I am six something. Like six one. Mm. So you're over two meters. Yeah, that would be over. around seven to eight uh, feet, I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how tall. I don't know that I'm taller than him or not. Salvage deposit accepted. Oop. Credits transferred. Nope. Let's let's just have that ballerina itself to its own destruction. 
If it's on its own way to destruction, shouldn't it go into the furnace? Now in the process, I assume it gets uh, torn apart and well processed. To make sure you get going. Uh, also, last stream we got access to class 2 reactors and we got a practice ship with one of them. Though we haven't got access to any actual other ships with uh, class 2 reactors yet. And those things are valuable. Just the re a class 2 reactor is 3 million on its own. So very valuable. But also a bit tricky to get out because it has to... Oh, that's the wall again. Uh, at least nothing's blew up this time. But uh, yeah, uh, class two reactors have two subsystems that uh, keep it stable, which are the coolant and the fuel. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh well. Oh, you are right to the helium. <laughs> uh, mostly. Okay. Are you sure you keep making mistakes? Not making a mistake with this one. Just throw the frisbee out of the way. Okay, that looks like a giant USB. Okay, the, well, that's also removed all of the fuel from the ship, or it should be all the fuel. No fuel there. And no fuel visible there. Could, of course, also be hiding behind the airlock. Oh, I should probably put the fuel by the airlock. Oh. Oh. Uh, one at a time, please. Yeah. Wrong first. Okay, why would you put fuel by the airlock? Uh, behind, it's behind. Yeah, there's space still on the side of the cockpit where there could be a fuel tank. And, well, it's the same reason I, you know, why people in this uh, universe put uh, the valuable cargo on the outside of the ship because it's safe because it's cheaper than storing it somewhere actually safe so capitalism then yep extreme version of it yeah. and what i want to say is the reason i was about ron's height was for i want to make a bit of a joke on Sarah saying that i'm bigger than you and you will play me basically all <laughs> logic Anyways, I just came to buy to say hi, so I'll be leaving right now. Good okay. luck with everything. See you later. See you later. Have a good day. I see Have something floating there. See ya. God. I'm not wrong. Let's see. Oh, we we could have worked on our ship on our little ship already. Okay, you we can do that now. Yeah. I thought we might have needed another uh, something, but no. We can do that after we're done with this thing. Just plug oh, all the most dear. valuable stuff out. Oh, hello. I hope we just did another bad thing. Yeah, at this point, I, I, <laughs> it would have been on purpose, almost. How did that one get dodged? Oh, the thing is impressive! Then I saw you missed one somehow. <laughs> it was no longer impressive. Or rather, that's not like if I out impressed you. <laughs> Wait, did I, did I use great grammar there? <laughs> Absolutely perfect. And I thought I heard something. Hmm. Like a, a poof or sorts. A poof. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. It could be the music. Okay. And if you're that eager to go, then go. No tethers remaining. Okay, and we need to remove the power cells before we move the power junction. Even if it does damage the cell somewhat, there we go. it'll damage the junction boxes less. 
Okay, that's the first goal. Alright. Moving. There we go. Now, I, I really hope that we are getting close to the end of Act 2. Because, yeah, as fun as this game is, we have been doing it now for a month uh, again. Because originally when we streamed yeah. this, it was uh, three... You know, we streamed it three times, at least when the, on the story. I probably streamed it once or twice before that. But... Yeah, I don't want it to just be like two hours of uh, ship breaking and only a little bit of story every time, or no story at all. Yeah, I guess the problem there. Wait, is that this is the Swift Deimos? Yeah, the Swift Deimos Mark IV. Deimos, Deimos. Is that another word for demon? Or I think it might be. It is Greek in any case. It's used in uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Good game, but very lengthy. Uh, a lot better overall, I'd still say, than uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Not to say that Origins is a bad game, it's just as the first Assassin's Creed to play more like an RPG than anything else. It's, yeah, it was just rough with it. Odyssey just did it a lot better because they had practice. I haven't played Valhalla. Yeah, from what I've heard, it is most it is mostly like it is mostly like Odyssey, though with some extra bits and such. And we should probably decompress this thing before it blows out on its own. And oh. Well, I guess we'll see now what happens when an airlock blows out. Oh, no. Okay. Nothing is holding the panel in place. And only a few of these. Yeah, it's warning that it is about to blow. Actually, it... Wait. Was that it decompressing because it's already loose from the rest of the ship and it didn't it didn't even give a warning decompression. <laughs> it was just Okay, that was unexpected with all the flames. But nothing blew up, but yeah, that I guess that was just the wet fart of uh, decompressions. It's in nothing freaking happened. <laughs> I guess, ironically, the ship that's called Swift Demon is the one we hopefully no longer have accidents. Yeah. Send that off. And then we send these, and this might be enough. For the second goal. Cool end, I mean. It can go chill in the barge. Okay, not enough still, but close. Luckily, none of the freaking cabling was in the way of removing everything. Okay. Now, I think we should probably aim more for the second goal with these. That way we can get more progress in. Because it is quite... It is a bit... Quite a bit more work to get from the second to the third goal. In comparison. Oop. Some free cabling. Uh, yeah. Let's still just get rid of these bits. Because they're just easy enough to pull out and just throw down. 
So I could probably just stick to the ceiling and throw everything in from there. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Processing valuable object. Credit there. Awarded. Phase through our own limb. I still want to see if we can get to the next class of ship. Because th those are quite a lot bigger than the ones that we've been dealing with so far. Like these things, these mackerel ships have basically been like a, a taxi. And when the, the other, I forget their name at the moment. The other class of ship that could also be a station hopper. Um, think of an, just a Boeing 747 in comparison. It's big. What? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. B basically, compare a, a taxi car against a, a full, a full passenger plane in size. It's, okay. it's like it's like three times wider at the least and longer as well. Wait, is that fit in here? Yep. Barely. Don't let that really personal work. Nope. Oh, I did not. Oh. Okay. No. A bit too close to launch it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking the chair with me, and then we'll just send the rest through the processor. Because, yeah, already at goal two. That is what we'll be aiming for in the future. And with a bit of luck, we might get some more story out of this last bit. Do we try and bring the ship as well? Uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to finish up this stage on it. Then we'll see what we'll need next. And I don't think we'll get another bit of story because we probably need to get to the next certification level for that. Yeah, it, yeah, the story progression is tied to the level, not the amount of days we're so spent. I'm guessing the other hexagons out there are also salvage yards. And there we go. This, they see the red line explode upwards. And yeah, there we go. Still a good two million. Still 5,000 points. Okay. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Links would like to share still, the following we're working inspirational away message. At it. The greatest reward Excellent. in life is the chance to work hard at work. work and now we're not at the half point yet, I think. Wait. I didn't mean to... Okay, I accidentally pressed to go forwards already there. Uh, anything new here? Okay, links unidentified. One, one, two. Okay, links PSA B. From links, first found on that. Falling asleep on the job, salvager? That's a great way to lose a limb and or life. Lynx cannot encourage the use of illegal narcotics. However, research has shown that when used in moderation, recreational stimulants and microdoses of hallucinogenics can provide salvagers with significant gains in both performance and yield. Furthermore, 
The Lynx Board of Directors voted unanimously to eliminate any and all drug tests for salvage division employees. Because we at Lynx believe the privacy of our employees <laughs> is paramount. Lynx, making the world a better place. Yeah, they say while well, monitoring every connection, every message that people send. I mean, that is a nice poster. <laughs> Could probably also be taken as very dystopian, but yeah, this this rule is dystopian. <laughs> Nothing happening this time. A part of me gets the feeling that that, the, that flash might have also been something exploding. Equipment Possibly. is decent. And uh, yeah, don't forget the uh, armadillo. Yeah. Uh, ship doctor. Place. And it's time for some ship plastic. Example. Nice job. Yep. And we already can do the next thing over. Elevated performance levels. Excellent. I would not realize I have a volume of five. Ship will be awesome in no time. Now we need a bunch a of wiring. Procedure. No complications. Okay. We st still have a bit of time. Already went there. So let's see what else we can do with the ship in the time that we have left. In nine minutes? Uh, we can call it a bit of... And we can consider it a bit of a speed run. And let's go with the heavy cargo because that doesn't have the walls. And such is a lot easier to crack open. Or at least... A lot less hazardous for decompression. Okay. Uh, this side. Already open. And we're in before the processors have even started. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Okay, come on. We need that. Where is... What the heck is that? Oh, wrench. Oh, oh, he's took the range for a railgun. And I think we can guess where the reactor is. Wait, it's in the cockpit? Hmm, where? where is it? Yep. There it is. Yeah. Not the safest position to have it. Air pressure level decreasing. I'll be taking that. I'm so sorry, happy. I don't believe in that world. Nope. And I'll be taking this. Flush out the fuel. And let's cut here where it's a little safer. Let's not cut the crate. Okay, get in. Oh dear, Rush. my Odin. And start cutting. Okay. go one last here flush that and oop. okay that that was not the best idea but the back is out and this thing is still salvageable just don't get in front of the, the stream what did you just do I gave the I gave the thruster a bit too much of a bump. I, yeah, I probably should have aimed up higher or lower at the actual superstructure. Yeah, it, it it was only damaged. Uh, you keep going. No second antenna. I thought for a moment, man, we were to have a second damn explosion. 
not this time. Okay, come on out. <laughs> it's still very comical that you always said he had little faith in me. And so far you've been probing me all the right reasons to have little faith in you. Processing valuable Oh, uh, it's better than the reactor blowing up. Speaking of... Make our way towards it. Don't eat it now. Oh, the Kool Aid and the Lobo. Are you still attached? You are still attached. Wait, no, that's the other. Did this? Did we miss a? Did I miss that there's a grill on the front of this thing or something? Oh, we might make a space barbecue. And he tries to kill us soon again. Oh, bottle. Oh, can't move that. Yeah, I missed that. Oh, it's a frick. Again, they. Why do they have freaking fuel underneath the sink meant to protect the ship? Um, the fuel. All right. I thought you blew up just the reactor there. Wait, no. Then it would be a big explosion and more. It's. Oh no! There. That out. Go. Go. Next time, I'm not hitting just the plate, but the entire thing. Okay, let's go one in five and a half minutes. Remaining. Yeah, that is going to slow things down, of course. Okay, come on. Move up, move up. Slow down. Forgiven. Just, just down my drink. Tethers. Might as well top up on fuel. Okay. You go. You after it. You up top. And that should be the entire side going. Yep, just gotta pluck these out before they get there. And not smack myself in the face with them. Where's the other? There is the other. No, there it is. Oh dear gods. Now you are loose, I think. I have to say, compared to other shipbreaker streams, this one has been way more eventful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that that is a bad thing, because it keeps things interesting. Okay. Yep. You are not wanted in the bar, so keep going. Still going to land, so I'll let that be. Don't blow it. <laughs> it's not going to blow up from the slightest touch. It'll need a bit of momentum to break it. We just gotta keep an eye on the temperature. Because, oops. Actually, that's on the other side. 
Cut, cut, grab, cut, grab, cut, and cut. Wait, no, 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 that's wrong. It was a big grab. That's the timer for the stream going off, so let's just send these last bits on their way. Last little volunteer. Actually, I think those meteor fragments were worth quite a bit, and I think this is still stuck to the ship through that. Yeah, meteor fragments are worth a lot, but that's what we do. Okay, that was the, an airlock decompressing, but the game actually cares about that happening. Uh, okay, that went on for a bit longer than it actually did anything, I think. <laughs> okay, let's grab one of those meteorite pieces. Get a check on how expensive they are again. And then we'll call it. Salvage secured. Credit Might as well deposited. grab the wrench. Processing I think that's the first deposited. one we've seen. Credit Might be the second. Oh, it's actually a barge item. It's about to sweep into the furnace. Yeah, it's a tool. So of course they want a free tool. Punch you in. Let's see, asteroid shards, 20,000. A decent amount, but not too impressive. It may depend how big they are. The bigger or the more valuable they are, probably. Yeah, and I see another little bit that we can grab. Oh, and another multi-tool. Jimmy? Okay. And yeah, again, we've reached what we needed. So this thing is going to sleep with the fishes, if the fishes are the processor. <laughs> Warning, tethers depleted. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, I should double check with these every time. Because that is useful. And that is useful. Wait, what was that? A circuit board, I think. One of the first oh, one right. was a distributor. Yeah, I'm going to 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 circuit the hub. Okay. There's hmm. maybe I'm misremembering, but maybe I'm misremembering, but the wasn't the Depth 1 billion, or actually, I think I can see what they might have done. They might have thrown on training costs with some of the things. Of course. Hmm. Because if the, pra if the depth was still 1 billion, we should have been... We should have been underneath that a long ago now. It's... I'll need to keep a better check on that. Have a nice day. Hmm. Or maybe it was more than that, and I just forgot. For now, another sinking ship. That I tethered to itself, I think. There we go, and now just the bars shoot up. I'm kind of curious what would happen if you just dunked the entire ship into the barge. That is a curious concept. <laughs> I've been wondering about that as well. It's, I think it should keep it stuck or something. Maybe if I just tear out the entire bottom of a ship and just dunk the, the hull in it. It should stick with... It should keep a hold of the things that it well, will use. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I'd have to test that. For now, though. Good morning, shipbreaker. Yes. Links would like yeah, to share the following message. Again. The only hmm. peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Again, I have no idea what that is, and I'm a freaking yeah chemical. I I've been trained yeah, to uh, yeah do chemical stuff. I can. Now let's get I this. I would hmm? not recognize it, but I don't remember the what it's for. Hmm. Let's see. I don't really remember if you push to eat it or not. A, a second Earth category? The Select Commission is very Australian. With all due respect to the Commission's chairfolk, it has been disappointing for many of us average solar citizens to feel like the Select Commission hasn't lived up to its promises. After the win in the fight against the AI revolution, many look to the Commission to provide further protections for human labor across the systems. The, yeah, the system. But continuously, the Commission seemed outperformed by the more nimble corporations, who were untethered by the bureaucratic process, which the Commission seemed ever obsessed to observe and follow. As much as we all understand the appeal of following dry rules and protocol, huh, when it comes to protecting real human lives, perhaps a more practical approach is in order. With Jupiter Gate established, we find ourselves again in a position of corporate dominance at the forefront of human progress, which threatens once more to be the defining factor in the lives of so many hopeful people. We must not allow this to happen again. We require leadership from the Commission. Leadership which isn't fueled by profit, but rather by human respect and excellence. And maybe in the future, the Commission can put some, uh, could put more emphasis on the fostering of collaborative, proactive efforts, rather than reactively scrambling in the wake of ruthless corporate juggernauts. Yeah, that's sadly a reality here as well, that governments tend to be two steps behind uh, corporations most of the times. And well, honestly, sometimes that is by on purpose, because many of the people who are in governments are funded by said corporations. And oh, that's it's just uh, the darkness invading again. Hello, Helio, my old friend. I'm here to consume you again. So while all the stars are seemingly getting devoured, <laughs> uh, let's call it here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I probably need singing lessons, but I sing horribly. Actually, let's let me check a little something here, because I think at this yeah here that let's see, Mr. Agnesson, there should be somewhere that it says up to what level the uh, current story goes, and that is their web page that I went to, not their store page like I thought it would be. Let's see. Da -da -da. Campaign voiceover is placeholder using internal developers and will be replaced by professional voice actors in future updates. Mm. On that, I'd say give the option to have uh, the original voice actors and professionals. Because, yeah, some people are just going to like the old voices more than the new ones. And the, the old ones, the, the current ones, are not bad. Yeah. Like, you don't need so... Leonardo to freaking Caprio the voice you know, your indie game just yeah get someone who does well enough yeah these current ones are pretty good i say hmm. maybe sure you some professional ones that might need it like when you have more character than the <laughs> current the workers yeah, we'll we'll have to see how that goes and yeah. I'll look around to what mastery rank or certification rank they currently have uh, the story going. Uh, if we are at the current end of it, then next week we'll be starting with something different. Probably Orcs Must Die 3, finally. If not, then we'll, we'll probably get at least one more stream out of this. Though I do want to try, uh, I do want to move on to some other things as well now. Understandable. <laughs> uh, yeah. For now, uh, tomorrow, something Sunday, I should have the games pre-installed already. I'll check back on the footage of this stream to see if there really was as much stuttering as I thought. Probably it, probably not as much as, as I'm looking at the screen now. It, I'm not seeing any, but that could also be because we're looking at a static 
page and not a three-dimensional uh, world where uh, just a hundred fragments of <laughs> the after effect of a reactor explosion are have to be calculated. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see next week what happens. But yeah, until then, at least thank you, anyone who has. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, Brilius, for watching. Thank you, Ram, for visiting. And thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, like I said, something Sunday tomorrow. And But always, yeah, as always, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks.